So which one do you think is a fake drop shot? Number one or number two? <laughs> which one? Write in the comments. One of these from Yannick Sinner is going to be a drop shot. Can you tell? He disguises it pretty well. Now, first, this video is courtesy of PTSO on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I put their link in the description below. So we got Yannick versus obviously Felix Jose Eliasim. And when you get a weak ball and you want to come in and make it look like you're absolutely going to crush it and then go for a drop shot, it is a great strategy to use. And here are a couple tips that are going to help you. The very first thing is you have to use your forehand grip and you've got to set up the way you always do. I did that side by side comparison because I wanted you to see, wow, it's kind of hard to know which one is the drop shot and which one he is going to absolutely pound the ball. So when you're going to try this, it's awesome if you've already gotten a short ball that you've come in and absolutely obliterated into the open court. That way your opponent is already expecting that to happen anyway. But when we look at Yannick here, he sets up and right here he decides, you know what? Felix is, uh, Felix is standing way behind the baseline. There's plenty of room to go for a drop shot on either side. So watch his grip. He changes the grip. That's why it's so important that you have your non-hitting hand on the throat of the racket at this point. Because that is the hand that allows you to change your grip. So he's got his topspin grip here, but he's going to switch over to his volley grip so he can put the backspin on the ball. If you're someone who only turns with your dominant hand on the racket, it's not so easy. You can still do it, but it's not so easy to change the grip. So practice turning with both hands on the racket so that it's easier for you to change to your volley grip that is going to allow you to open up the face. Now, let's look at the little motion that he uses for the drop shot. He doesn't just chop straight down as he hits, but he makes a little bit of a smiley. Watch his racket go slightly down and then slightly back up. So there's not a ton of backspin. He's just kind of making a like a golfer's motion where it goes down, creates a little divot, and then back up again. I don't want you sing swinging just straight down. Way too much spin, way too much racket speed needed actually to even get this ball over the net. And it's very difficult to calculate. You'll also notice that he does not go to the backhand side. You know, most players are expecting, so if you're Felix, think of it from his perspective, most players, when their brain reacts to, oh my gosh, it's a drop shot, they almost expect it to go to their backhand, right? Kind of the inside out drop shot to the backhand side. But Sinner actually hits the ball to the forehand completely on purpose, and it's a bit of a surprise, and then watch how he follows it up and actually ends up inside the service line. That's just in case Felix does decide to run for this ball, and if he pops it up, Sinner is there to put it away. I gave you that question at the beginning, and it was actually number two, so maybe you figured it out. But the, the video on the right was actually this right here, the drop shot. So practice this. Turn with both hands. Make it look like you are going to absolutely pound the ball. Then with your non-hitting hand on the throat of the racket, change the grip and very lightly go slightly down, then slightly back up. Vic Braden called this the canoe. It's like you're drawing a canoe, you know, like a canoe, right? <laughs> like you're drawing a canoe slightly down, slightly up. You could even think of it as a smiley for a smiley face, right? You go slightly down, then slightly back up again, a little bit of backspin. You'll even notice, by the way, he's not making this ball land really close to the net. The ball is landing about 10 feet from the net, right? So let's say it's 10 and a half feet because it's 21 feet from the net to the service line. So it's basically landing right in the middle between the net and the service line. And the second bounce is past the service line, like way back. So he didn't go for this really cute close to the net drop shot because he was making it look like he was going to pound the ball. So Felix is way back, ready to chase one of these shots down, but the ball is just dinked over the net. So use this strategy. Love the, the fist pump. Love how he's like super pumped and <laughs> like he's just kind of getting all ramped up and excited about hitting the shot. So work on this. Work on this with one of your coaches. Make it look like you're going to pound it and then just do a little dink over the net. Oh yes, and make sure you follow it up to the net.
Now, if you'd love to use the same strategies the pros use to win their matches, then you got to pick up the Singles Playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. It's all broken down by the type of opponent you play against, and it's over 50 pages, strategy after strategy, and what's really cool is each page comes with a QR code, so you can watch a video of exactly how to use each strategy. Just use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Player Court, and it's playercourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. So go on and practice this with a hitting partner or with a coach. Have them feed a weak ball that brings you in, and I want you to make it look like you're absolutely going to pound this ball. Then with your non-hitting hand still on the throat of the racket, change your grip to your volley grip and just put a little backspin on the ball, go slightly down and then slightly back up again and follow it up to the net. You work on this fake drop shot, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.